Well, hello, I'm Alon and Fanlet. This is Space Engineers, and I don't quite know what's going on. I was talking about doing a bit of a playthrough, a sort of survival thing, and uh, showing a bit of this off, possibly to people that don't know about it, and just having a laugh while I was playing. And my mate said, "I've got a start for you. It has a lot of the the pre-built stuff for Zeo CMF on the workshop. There's a whole load of Star Trek stuff in it, just for a laugh. Um, but when you load it up, start talking." on the loading screen. So I sent in front of us going, I wonder what he was meaning, but also that 50% is taking longer than it normally does to load in. So I know there's mods on this, but I haven't seen what they are. We now have the new, uh, the latest DLC that's come out, as you can see top left. If you don't know engineers, it sort of shows you all the DLCs. So as you might use there. Um, ironically, I traded a whole load of skins away years ago for Rust, which has given me basically the money to get any of the, the DLCs for anything I want for the next while. Um, I had a couple of valuable skins, so that was always a bit of an advantage. So, by the way, the, mar the market's kind of dropped out of that, so if you want to support a developer, definitely do. If you want to trade stuff, definitely don't. Um, but yeah, so back to the Space Engineers. I am stepping into something that I don't know, but he handed me it the same way that Bugs Bunny would hand somebody a live grenade. So I'm expecting an explosion. He did say that I'm on my way to a, what was an explosion, so I'm interested to see that. And he said that don't mess with the nukes. Um, now, I, I have not seen nukes in this game before, so I'm curious. But he said nukes, not warheads. So I don't really know what's going on. But as you can see in front of us, this is real time in front of us. He said to record the beginning like this because it would probably be funny for him. Um, and it's taken like a couple of minutes. Oh, there we go. We jumped to 90. It went from 50 to 52% and sat there. So we're loading in. Let's see what's going on. I might recognize a lot of these ships and I'll try and tell you who the I immediately recognize this. This is one of the runabouts. Oh, that's cool. So, external. Oh, he's giving us some little... What's that? I don't know that what that is behind us. So, we are moving at speed, it turns out. We are jittery as hell. I am getting 16 frames a second on this, which is not normal. Mine runs at like 150. So, he's done something. I, I, okay, that was something, doesn't seem that bad, okay, so, right, I'm still 8 kilometers away from whatever I'm coming up on, so I, oh, I don't have any tools. What do we have? Aha! Oh! He gave us some nice tools. Put it in there. Do I have a runabout? I have something behind. What are those red things? I'm 7.5k out, so let me just get those tools into the right place. Oh, let's put that there. Ah! It's going so slow, it's taking a while to actually grab onto stuff. I've not had this happen before, and I don't exactly have a small rig. How far am I away? Six. Right, so there's a couple of missing thrusters. Uh, okay, we're getting 38. I don't know what that red stuff is, but I don't trust red barrels. So I'm going to move out of their way, but still keep approaching. Okay, so I'm down to 15 frames a second if I'm looking that way, but if I look away, it's going up to 60, 70, which is still low for what I normally play at. I don't change any settings or anything like that, I just happen to know what's going on. Uh, do I have a camera for? Oh! Holy crap! What the hell did he do? So we have a whole load of ships. We have an Enterprise with a hole in it? 
this is cool. And then, I don't know what those are. I don't know what that is over to the left. We are four and a half kilometers away-ish. And what is this thing? The Equinox? That... I don't know. I do, I do not know. Okay. I say that a lot. What's this thing over here? Is that... It kind of looks like in the cell. I appear to be quite sluggish in handling. But okay. Oh, I'm moving as fast as I can, so... Camera out. Okay, so, um, yeah, there's a lot of explosions have happened there, but that one little explosion on the back of my ship, yeah, not impressed. <laughs> Sorry, man, but I, I was expecting something worse. No, that he's going to have put booby traps or something around about here. Oh, we should probably start slowing down. And then, is that, like... A saucer from some uh oh those red things uh let's let's go down the way while I'm slowing down don't know what those red things are oh wait I've just seen oh, I can't really turn that while I'm slowing down I don't want to get struck I think I saw another part of that green thing over there. So, I don't... Is that... that Right, so there's another ship there. Oh, a worker bee! I know that. That's, again, one of Zeo's AMF's uh, creations from Star Trek. I think it's one of his. Let me just drop down in height so I don't collide with a thing. Like, what is that? good. What if I just rotate? I should be able to. Okay. So, I think I'm safe from those red things. Um, okay, so there's more mines over there. I've just sort of glimpsed them, so let's get turned around. So he's plonked down a couple of minefields. Which is cool. I think I saw a shadow moving there, so... There is still some stuff moving, so... I wonder what's going on. That is a massive... Can I... That's not the minefield I know. Damn. We got any guns? Do we have any guns? We do. Hold on, that... Wait, four? What's going on? Is that minefield moving? Um. I, is I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, I'll admit I was the one that said that that was. That's not the same minefield. <laughs> What's another minefield? They're moving. I thought they were static objects. I didn't realise. That there is tons of mines there. 
absolutely tons of mines. Um, okay, I'm not on that ship, but there's still mines flying about. Look at that. Uh, so my... That is... God damn. Well, that would explain the frames per second. Um, so, what? This... I think that's a mine. I don't have any tools. <laughs> Where's that ship? Where's me running back? Oh god. I've just come in and I've been detonated. Twice. Okay, that was that was impressive. I like that. Um Uh oh. There's still more stuff exploding. Oh wait, body location, that's what I'm looking for. Body location. That'll have the tools. It is one point one kilometers away. 1.2 Right, so first things first and I'm seeing top left corner I've got a food and drink mod in So Yeah, this is a survival one 1.9, so I'm catching up with my body And I'm accelerating really slowly But I can see here There's a minefield There is like single pixels So I'm wondering if that's just passed through That is... I have no idea what that is. Is that like a first generation sort of Romulan thing? I don't know. That looks funny. Damn. Alright, come on, let's get a body. So that'll give me my tools. I don't know where the ship went to. I don't know where the runabout's going. <laughs> okay, that is a cool way to enter a game, I have to say. I'm very much liking that. Now, what I do know about this is that there isn't any, um, what you call it, there isn't any encounter mods. Well, there shouldn't be. I don't, I don't want to check anything he's done just yet because I don't want to, um, I don't want to see what else is going on. So I just want to play through it. But, so there, there's the food mod that I know about then there's been some ships but the actual encounters and stuff are all just the standard ones because it's the the new encounter update uh, that's been released so i want to play through those um, so that was kind of the point of this playthrough before he said i'll start you off he's actually seems to have started me off in quite a good position because there's a lot of material here so this is a lot better than normal. There's tons of steel. Um, kind of wondering if there's more things incoming though. But that was impressive. Um, and then over here, so this is the Equinox, but it's in a a bashed state. I think he's going for a red ship thing there, where it's smacked into an asteroid. But this asteroid's taking a pounding. So we have that, which is interesting. Oh, that's actually a point. Um, like the front half of it is just missing. So this is mine. From the start. Then... I still don't... <laughs> I don't know where the runabout went to. I can't see it anywhere. But we've got some more stuff over here. Let's go and check out some other things. Um, there's lots of detonated things. Well, actually, the back of this looks quite intact. He says, with his famous last words. It does look quite intact. Uh, maybe not so much. Uh, definitely not so much. 
Oh, I didn't know this little Equinox thing had a... Uh, what do you call it? Aero thrusters? That's cool. So I've got some hydrogen, I've got some oxygen with those tanks. That'll do. This thing, I don't know what it is. So we'll have a look at this one. I am still really bad on a frame rate. Some interesting pauses going on. Whoa, 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 whoa. The hell? Okay, this thing's moving. That's just called large grid, so... No idea what that is. Let's have a look at this one. My frame rate has just jumped. Okay, I'm now moving the 35 frames a second, but it's not changing where I look. Oh, I'm sort of 40-ish. So it's not really an issue. Oops. Some stuff is floating about. I wonder if the, the trash collection took out a whole load of fast moving mines that have gone beyond distance. Cool. This is a big ship. Those are some jump drives. And a reactor. Oh, this is moving too. Um, kind of don't want this stuff to move anyway. Has it got... Okay, don't know what that says. So we have... Oh, that's... There's a nacelle there and part of a fuselage. You've got... Two halves of the Enterprise. Then it looks like this was something. Was being the appropriate term. Jesus. It's got battery on it. Oh, what was. That's just come whipping past. Okay, so there's a section. There's that. I'll go back and have a look at it. This looks weird. Why is there a projector? What's it doing? What is this? Is that? That looks like something else. So I don't know what that is. This is... Oh! Oh! There's another ship there as well. So... What's this one? So that one's got top and bottom. Oh cool, it's an older style. These are really cool models. So, this one is the Enterprise D. Now I know this one well because I've modified the absolute living crap out of one of these. Um, so I've pulled it apart so many times. So we have a few reactors there, that's good. The front of it, we have a lot of thrusters. Jeez, this is a lot of stuff. So I've been left with quite a lot of stuff. There's some damage in here, but not much. Um, so, let's have a quick spy on the bridge of this. Am I moving? No, I'm not. That's good. Ah, we still have... That's not meant to be there. Oh, stuff. Uh, wait, I've got better things. Let's put that stuff away for the moment. Protein shake. Um, bacon and eggs. Oh, I don't want to take all of those. Let me just... Right, so I've got some food. Oh, tons of med packs. Uh, let's take three of those. Let's take three of those. Um, I've never used a flare gun. I saw that the other day in somebody else's stuff. One bottle. Is there an oxygen bottle? No. 
Okay. Uh, I will take two energy kits. Right, so I've got some gear. So that's cool. This one... Oh, I remember what that projector is now. Um, just going to turn all of those off. There we go. There we go, my front frames went up a little tiny bit. So that's the cargo bay. That's the top sort of cargo bay on the thing. It's not moving. Okay, I'm just going to go that. Uh, okay, so there is some damage. <laughs> Look at that. I absolutely love this model. I think it's brilliantly done. You even got a little uh, captain's quartery thing. So, still playing about with it. Let's find a way out. This is one of the ways straight to the side. Oh. But it's not entirely intact in the forward section. So, we have a big chunk of a saucer. We have a, one of these, whatever that happens to be. And we have a drive section. That gives me an idea straight away that I could sort of salvage slash recycle. Oh. That's. Uh, that's the Klingon ship through this. Jesus. Okay, he went hard. Right, so what else have we got? This was another one. I don't recognise this at all. Okay, that's weird and unusual. Oh no, that was the battery I saw before. Right. Uh, then, so this is the one I haven't seen. Cargo bay up here. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. A lot of drop in sections. That's an interesting cargo bay. So I don't know this ship at all. I don't know this one. That's weird. Back ends missing. But still quite cool. I don't know this one. cool. So this is another big beastie. Don't know what beastie this one is though. Um, does it have a name? Give me a control panel somewhere. Uh, no. no. Ah, there we go. Door control panel. Info. The USS Titan. Is that a big one for a Star Trek film? Uh, the newer ones with with Khan, Cumber Khan. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Okay, so we've got a lot of usable materials here. A lot of usable materials. Um. Didn't really explore this one, I just had a look at the outside of it. Ah, interesting thruster build. Uh, Jesus, the amount of detail that goes into these. Like, when you're actually creating something that is an existing thing but doing it in, like, lower resolution, essentially, with the block builds, that is just impressive. This is gonna go. Oh! Cool! So, this is. That's just a standard cockpit. Wait. Is this mirrored? Is there another one? No. 
Oh well, but that's still cool. A lot of these have automatic. Ah, I saw the sensor. Yep, we got automatic doors. Jesus, look, that's a lot of thrusters for this wee tiny thing. It's a lot of thrusters that overruns the battery. But still, cool little craft. Um, if I turn off. Yeah, I don't need hydrogen. I could probably do with a bit more. Uh, well, okay, there has just been a weird crash, and this is where it's reloaded. I, didn't, I was still moving towards this thing. Oh boy. I bounced off that. Have I got... I don't want to look at that. I'm trying not to look at that. Oh no! Okay, so there was no mistake. I don't have anything immortally on. That's cool. Um, I just happened to... Oh! What's this? More containers. More foods! Organics? Is that the one I opened earlier? Might be. Not sure. NC Cargo Assault. Assault. Huh? Oh, Fucker bees are always useful. Is it intact? Yeah, it looks to be intact. Cool. So these are simple little tug craft, essentially. And we've got plenty of hydrogen, but not much battery life. Oh no, we've got some. So, if we just go, let's go up to the... I think for the moment I'm going to use the saucer section of the Enterprise as... Oh wait, actually, this is a tug craft. Where's that one that was moving away? There's that big old saucer section that was moving it. There it is. Let's get down here, because this was moving away and I don't want it to disappear on me, so I'm going to try and grab it. Then I want to try and get some stuff held together. A whole load of blocks all over the place. Possibly too fast. Now we're all good. Hold on though. Right, so I'm going to try and lock. It's just... USS Reliant. That is not what I remember the Reliant looking like. To be fair, that is quite a small thing. So I'm going to leave that there and let the bee do its stuff. We do have a space pirate radar, which could be a problem. Ah, I can't build a projector yet. Right. Let's hit the grind. The grind. Okay, so I need to build an assembler. Uh, after an assembler, I need to build a battery, but first an interior block. Um, a refinery. Okay. 
Can I make a projector here? Yeah. I can, fantastic. So over here, facing this way. There we go, so I can top up my energy while we get into third person view. Then we'll go to the projector and blueprints. Lizzie hangar ship. There we go. So that will start the base of this building there because it has quite an industrial thing in it. As you can see we've got some reactors and then the central bit I can actually build round and fill up. That'll give me two sets of nacelles. So these nacelles are the same as those. Then the difference is what's in here. So this is significant because we've got a massive cargo bay but then it moves from the cargo bay through to pretty much what's there already. So that's where our difference starts. But then it stops down here. So what, what my plan is, is to sort of build this back up to the bottom, around about here. And we can use that as a, a little bit of sort of extra stuff. Um, and we'll still maintain these thrusters and things, I'm thinking. Because the main cargo bay is this base. So I'll be able to cut out some of that, have me space down here. So this is the plan, this is my plan at the moment. The building repair system this particular block. So this is the build and repair mod that I've mentioned before. Um, there we go. So what these are is essentially um, large collectors. So they'll, they'll go off, they can grind off other things, they can work for what they need to. But the idea behind these is you have them and they can do all the sort of my lower lifting that you wouldn't want to do yourself. So what I'm just doing right now is to put a few of them in a line. That should be enough to do this really fast. But then here, you see we've got these reactor pods. But if I take the cargo containers, the big ones, so I'm going to put one of these in. Through this, it will give me access. What I need to do is to weld up one of these. Grab a hold of this. Then weld up this as well. And grab this. So I need the materials for these two things. Right, that's enough to get it working. Then we need to connect to this. Everything. This is now mine. Yes. Also, what's this one called? We are calling it the Suzy Massive. And 
because it's still, we're going to convert it to a station. And then, this one. So, we want it fly mode. We want weld before grind. Um, at the moment, we want grinding only. We want grind other blocks. Um, and we're actually going to bring armor block up the priority because we're going to need a lot of armor first. Now the other advantage is with this that I can grind things down to absolute nothing. Oh, that was it. I wanted to start with closest first. Uh, -bum -bum -bum. Was it there? That's down here. So nearest first, which will grind down any loose blocks inside the system. So for instance, anything I don't need like that, 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 I can just throw it out. Then grinding that would mean that that little blue trail will go and pick that stuff up. So I need small tubes, motors and construction components. Right. So with all that being done, where's Wave Rider? There we go. So I think that's a good place to call it this for today. Except for some reason I can't get through this door. Why is the block off? As you can see here, it is a sort of, sh or it was a shortened version, but we're sort of bringing it back up to a bit more size and power. It is an amalgamation of several other ships, but for the moment we are just going to harvest what is there. And the next time we shall continue, continue with this. And oh, I don't know what that, oh that's the little shuttle. We are going to do a little bit of consolidation because we have a few other wrecks that need to be brought over. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, for me I'm going to do a little bit of this for a while. And I might also, if anybody's interested, I might also do a Kerbal Space Program run because I used to do that on a separate channel. And it got quite a bit of likes within the community and stuff like this. Kerbal's always just a great relaxing game to play. So I figured I'd do a bit of that as well and see what's what. Uh, there will be more e videos coming at the moment. It, um, I'll put the links down in the doobly-doo as usual, but at the moment my subscription's lapsed. However, I think it's good because somebody was asking about Faction Warfare, so I was going to do Faction Warfare from a newer sort of perspective for the next couple of videos um, about EVE. And so I get back to uh, just general everything I'm doing at the moment. So thanks for watching. Bye.